Well, thank you, uh, Chairwoman DeGette. This is a very important hearing, and, and thanks to our witnesses for being here. America has a serious and growing uh, vaping problem. Uh, I've seen it firsthand. My two daughters uh, are just a couple of years out of high school, and I noticed a sea change in behavior among uh, high school kids, middle school kids over the past decade, it, and it reflects the the research, the yearly Florida Youth Tobacco Survey that is run by our Department of Health found that from 2012 to 2018, there was a 361% increase of kids aged 11 to 17 who had tried electronic vaping. Even worse, there has been a 582% increase in kids that currently use electronic vapes and 651% increase when the survey focused only on high school students. And on top of that, the survey also found that e-cigarettes are by far and away the most common form of you smoking. Uh, so clearly this is a very serious public health problem. Do you term it an epidemic or an emergency, Dr. Shukat? Yes, we are calling the youth use of e-cigarettes an epidemic. As are we. Okay. Uh, Dr. Sharpless, on September 10th in a post titled, How FDA is Regulating E-Cigarettes, you wrote that clearly some of the rapid rise in youth use of these products, meaning e-cigarettes, has resulted from irresponsible practices of the manufacturers uh, who have targeted children in particular. Give us some examples of the, these insidious practices by Juul and other manufacturers. So on September 9th, we sent a letter to Juul Labs Incorporated detailing um, uh, their use of unauthorized marketing claims, so-called so modified risk tobacco product claims. So things like saying their product is essentially safe or much safer or 99% safer. Some of these were made in presentations to children. And uh, they so do So they're not just outright saying things that are untrue. Uh, there is no data to support those claims. There are no data to support those claims. So that, that that's untrue, Dr. Shukat. Yes. Uh, how are these manufacturers specifically targeting kids? What time, type of uh, marketing are they using that really alarms you? Yeah, we're aware of um, a lot of presence on social media and recruiting youth social influencers, you know, uh, influential people, celebrities, and so forth to make this look cool or fun. And certainly, the, the, as, as Dr. Sharpless mentions, a lot of youth aren't aware there's even nicotine in e-cigarettes. Um, you know, flavor and water, that's what I thought I was getting. So I think we're, we're seeing um, the kind of tactics that were used with cigarettes being used again, um, and we think we need to, to take really aggressive action to yeah, so protect Dr. the young Dr. Youth. Sharpless, you said uh, in the, we need all the regulatory tools that have been mentioned here, but you said in your public relations campaign you're going to use TV ads. That's not going to do it. You know, you've heard, you know what they are using. Yes. They are on Instagram. They're on Snapchat. They're using these influencers. Don't you have plans for a more modern type of education campaign to really get to, to young people? I, I totally agree. There's, this is a market that requires a lot of different channels to reach. Uh, we have done some of this. Uh, so with the Federal Trade Commission, for example, we... Uh, took down uh, some sites that were using these social media influencers that were sort of hyping e-liquid products without disclosing they contain nicotine, which is a violation. Who are the public health influencers that you all are going to bring to bear? Because these products, you're right, young people, they think they're cool. They think they're, they're not so harmful. They think, oh, that has happened somewhere else. It's not happening in my, uh, in, in my friend groups. In, in terms of public health, um, of, of course, the Surgeon General's really been out there and, and our partners at state and local public health. I think there's a lot of kids behind me who might be influential as well. Really, the, we, you got to get with the program here. This is, you're not going to be able to combat this with the same old uh, ways to communicate to young people these days. You've got to get, you've got to bring the most uh, modern techniques to bear. I don't think the Congress has all the answers in that either. Uh, so I really encourage you and I encourage the committee to, to uh, move aggressively on this. Otherwise, other people are going to die and uh, other, other young people are going to get hooked that they don't even, they, they think it's, it's cool, they think uh, it's not harmful, and now all of your, the, the evidence we have so far, that's just not the case. Uh, 
So that'll, I'll yield back my time and encourage you to, to be uh, more hip. Thanks.